Why do you feel compelled to set yourself on fire just to keep others warm? This question might sound dramatic, but it perfectly captures the essence of a people pleaser's life's philosophy. People pleasers are on this relentless pursuit of ensuring they never piss anyone off or assert boundaries in any way. They are extremely agreeable, bend over backwards and morph into whatever shape, form or person you need them to be just to ensure everyone else is happy and comfortable. These are the folks who say yes when every fiber of their being wants to say no. They will volunteer for tasks at work they have zero bandwidth for, agree to plans they're dreading and apologize for things they haven't even done. Why? Because the thought of disappointing someone else is their personal brand of nightmare fuel. The idea of someone being displeased with them is like a fire alarm going off in their world. And so the cycle continues. Agree, appease, suppress, repeat. Now, how is the people pleaser perceived by others, you might ask? Folks can smell the desperation of a people pleaser from a mile away. Their existence becomes a blank canvas for others to project their expectations. Expectations of automatic compliance or lack of opinion. With their fake smiles and ever ready down for whatever attitude, people pleasers unintentionally invite others to take advantage of their willingness to conform. They become this go-to person not for genuine connection, but for fulfilling needs and desires without the inconvenience of resistance. People actually start to expect this self-sacrificing behavior as the norm, further embedding the people pleaser in a cycle of appeasement. They soon realize that the constant nodding and the never-ending streams of yeses doesn't earn them the respect and the love they yearn for, and then they become resentful. The masks start to shed, and the seething sea of unmet needs, suppressed feelings, and anger begins to boil beneath the surface. They realize that no matter how much they give, it never really satisfying, not for them and not for the people they are trying to please. They get passive-aggressive and vengeful, and since all relationships they have a superficial connection built on shaky grounds of appeasement, they are eventually lonely. The irony is thick. In trying to be everything to everyone, people pleasers end up feeling invincible. They are seen not for who they are, but for what they can do for others. It's a lonely place to be, realizing that while you may be liked, you are not truly known. So to all the people pleasers out there, hear this. Stop that shit. Ask yourself this. What do I need? What do I want? Who am I when I'm not trying to be everything to everyone? It's time to reclaim your identity, to start setting boundaries and to understand that it's not your job to fix, save, please or appease everyone. Recognize that saying no doesn't make you a bad person, it makes you a real one. Understand that real love and respect is earned by being authentic, not from being agreeable. Your worth is not measured by how much you can give to others, but by how much you can stay true to self. Hey, if you enjoy this, you'll love the podcast on Spotify. Check out the occasional rant on Spotify and dive deeper into the mysteries of the mind and the big questions of life.